After watching this episode of Yuri on Ice, I believe the animators deserve a pay raise. The reason for it is because when I was watching this episode and I saw all these characters getting introduced, I expected a drop in quality. Animation, not art, I'm just talking about animation in general because as I stated last week, what has really surprised me about this series, not just the story to the characters and stuff, but the animation. Because to animate the entire body moving constantly for a minute to two minutes is a lot of work. It's difficult. And throughout majority of this episode, it was showcasing a variety of new characters, introducing them, what type of personalities they have, their designs, while having them move the entire time, their entire body moving. And I gotta say, I feel like the animators did a splendid job with this episode, and they definitely deserve a compliment after working so hard. I mean, you could clearly see how much effort they put into the animation, the way the characters are moving throughout their performances. I mean, Chris's performance, I'll get in that moment, but holy shit, that performance. And then also, you know, Yuri's, and then other characters like Leo, Georgie. I mean, there was a bunch of characters that were introduced, and just seeing, you know, their performances and the way they were moving their body, it's just impressive. I am really impressed by how the animators of Yuri on Ice continue to do it week after week. You would think after this many episodes, the animation quality would have just dropped and it would have been a piece of shit. But no, it hasn't. It actually looks still beautiful as ever. And I'm willing to bet you they're probably saving a lot of their efforts probably for some certain episodes for the finale of the series. So yeah, just Yuri on Ice continue to impress me. And animators, you deserve a pay raise. Or at the very least, a nice good clap. A round of applause, so to say, for all the hard work that was put into this episode. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this episode in general. So the theme of this episode is to introduce a bunch of new characters, give characterization and a little bit of development for Yuri, but overall it's a character introduction episode. And it gets the point across rather quickly. I mean, you get to see the different performances from everyone participating in this competition against Yuri and how Yuri stands out amongst the competition. And overall, at the end of the day, when it comes to this episode, Yuri wins. He actually has a hundred point lead and it's rather impressive to see how high he has gotten in this competition and he's actually in first place now of course there's going to be the free you know dance you know uh, ice skating part of the performance but I mean overall though at this time Yuri has become first place and this is something he's never actually experienced at all in ice skating at all since he's ever done it he's never been in first place this is an entirely new experience for him so you got to think about how weird this must feel and how nerve-wracking it must be it's like this i mean you go and you try to do a competition you've always came maybe in last place fourth place second place third place it doesn't matter you've always came not in first and after all these times you do it you finally come in first you don't know how to feel you'll be in utter shock you'll be like I i'm first place i did it like there's no one higher than me right now. I am first place. And it's like standing on top of the mountain and looking down at everyone. And you're like, holy crap, I have made it up here. Yuri has never experienced this feeling. And so the way this is going, the way this was being implied in this episode, either two things are going to happen. One, Yuri is going to probably use this to better himself, which that's a given. That's probably going to happen either way. But the main thing is, is that Yuri might become nervous. He might become nervous to where he might not perform well in the next performance. He might not do good because he doesn't know how to deal with the pressure of being in first place since this is his first time being in first place. Because being in first place is a lot of pressure. No matter what you want to say, it is a lot of pressure for someone. Their mental mindset, that, that's going to be a lot of pressure because like everybody underneath them are going to be trying to just grab their legs and rip them off the freaking top of the mountain because they want to get on that spot. So Yuri has all that pressure right now and I hope he doesn't succumb to the pressure break and then you know he loses the competition but that could lead into some character development though but also if he does win that still leads into some character development because of how much he has progressed and he might gain some form of confidence in himself now with that out of the way let's talk about Georgie so Georgie's you know personality or the way he was designed in this episode the one that had the purple outfit and all that he had like the makeup on he was doing like a heartbreak that's kind of what his theme was to his dancing and my god that man's performance holy crap so it was very jarring and creepy I will say that see I'm not someone that's really well versed in a bunch of variety of music the names to you know ice skating I'm not I, as I've stated when I first started this series I'm not that well versed in it 
but I gotta say, that performance, out of all the performances, that man's performance was the creepiest, but really nailed that heartbroken type theme. So, Georgie definitely stood out. He reminded me of a JoJo type character as well. I mean, just his design reminded me of something I would see from JoJo. Now, moving into the next characters, let's talk about, for instance, Chris. So, Chris, as a character, holy crap. This man did a very similar theme to Yuri. Yuri, as we know, is doing love. He's doing Eros. That's kind of his main theme of his, you know, style, his performance. He is doing love. This man, Chris, that is shown to dance in this episode, his performance is also on love. Mature love. And, ho. Oh, if that man would have had a long program like Yuri, that man would have probably have crushed Yuri. If... He would have landed everything, did all a bunch of jumps, quadru uh, jumps and stuff like that. That man would have probably demolished Yuri because of just the way he was performing in that short span of time. I mean, that little short frame of him dancing that was probably the shortest out of everyone else was probably one of the most impressive. I mean, the man, the way he was just dancing and, you know, just going along with the music and stuff, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. So, yeah, Chris is someone to look out for. He's someone that's probably going to be a heavy hitter later on down the road in the competition. If he makes it to the, you know, the grand finale, he's definitely going to be someone that Yuri's going to have to watch out for. It's not just going to be Yurio, but it's definitely going to be that man. Because that man, what he demonstrated in this episode was a lot, a lot of potential, and he's a scary person if you had to go up against him as, like, one of the final runners of, you know, the competition being the best ice skater in the world. So, yeah, Chris's performance, damn. But, you know what really got me about his performance? I think everybody could admit that. That ass, though. Like, <laughs> yo, yo, like, I, I said this about Victor, okay, in the first episode. Like, that Victor had that, like, damn. But Chris's ass was shown like three or four times, like in his performance. It was in your face just so quickly, you didn't really get to see it. It was just skidding across the screen. You're like, like, did I just see that? And when it happens again, you're like, what the hell? Just like this man got so many ass shots. I'm like, dad ass, like, damn. So yeah, Chris, as a character, I'm looking forward to seeing more of him in the future. Uh, hopefully he is a character that's reoccurring and he helps develop Yuri and, you know, mature his love. So speaking of love, that's one of the big things about this that leads into the character development for Yuri. Yuri develops, and not in a way of showing more confidence, we just get to see how he uses his love and changes it and how he's making everyone view him in a certain way. The main purpose of Yuri's development of this episode was to show that he is a new person. He is not someone that is the old Yuri, someone that was in the last competition. He is not the person he was many, many months ago. He is now a new man, a new man that has reinvented himself, found his new self, his love. And as I stated in last week's episode, that final scene was pretty much a confession of Yuri and Victor confessing to each other. And with this episode, Yuri kind of showcased cases his obsession or how he's very he's someone that's really like I guess possessive of Victor he doesn't want anyone to have Victor and Victor is only for him and I like that I guess a pill of Yuri of this episode the way he's saying Victor is mine I stole him from everyone and I want you all to look at me you can hate me or whatever I want you all to look at the person that stole Victor the man you love from you I love that. I love seeing this development of how he's being very possessive of Victor and saying he's all mine. It really goes along with his theme of what he's trying to do with his performance. So yeah, this development he's getting, and also the way the love is being handled too. As I've said, the way Yuri on Ice is handling the Yaoi theme, it, it's something that just really continues to surpass my expectations. This episode is a perfect example of that. We get to see social media shown throughout this episode. For instance, like, you know, something like Twitter, or I I guess Instagram, I think it was Instagram, you get to see, like, you know, social media picture of Victor and also Yuri, and they're kind of hugging, and the way they, you know, interact with each other, you obviously could see if you saw pictures like that, if you were to go on the internet and you saw a picture of that, like, Victor and Yuri hugging and stuff, you'd think they were in a relationship, like, you know, a gay relationship, and when you see that... I, nobody really reacted negatively. No one really bad and I really cared in this episode. Like, normally, if you watch an anime series, to give a brief example, let's say, you know, you have a character that, you know, probably likes, let's say, the main male character. 
usually if there's a picture of something taken, the characters look at it, they say something about it, saying like, oh, he's weird, or just many things like that. It's just, usually it's expressed and showcased and emphasized there's something just weird or different from that. But the way everybody just looked at the picture of Victor and Yuri together, and they didn't really focus on it too much, nobody really commented too much about it because it was just something that's very natural in this day and age, I actually respect that. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you know, that type of stuff is, you know, accepted in today's society. It's no longer just shunned or thrown aside or nobody, you know, doesn't know that's not happening. It's just everybody knows now. It's just everybody lives with it. It's just it happens. And so I respect how Yuri on Ice is doing that. You know, showcasing that how this is more generally accepted or open now to the public and everybody doesn't really, you know, emphasize that, oh, how it's weird or different. So yeah, good job, Yuri on Ice. Once again, you did a very good job with handling those themes, but also all the development and character introductions. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.